So the term gaslight comes from the 1938 play Gaslight by Patrick Hamilton, where the husband tries to convince his wife through many psychological mind games that she is indeed going crazy by doing things such as dimming the gaslights and then claiming that there is nothing wrong with the gaslights, nothing is happening with the gaslights and many more to get the wife to believe that she's going insane, that she's going crazy. It is psychological manipulation, it's psychological warfare that when you are in the, on the receiving end of it, you cannot see what's happening to you. You just end up confused and depressed and full of blame and shame and questioning absolutely anything and everything, trying to work out what on earth is going on. Gaslighting is where the gaslighter wants to convince you that what you saw with your own eyes, you did not see. What you heard with your own ears, you did not hear. What you feel is in some way wrong. They want to convince you that your emotional reactions to their actions are the problem to distract you from the fact that their actions are causing those emotional reactions within you. It's torture to live through. So here are a few of the common gaslighting phrases. Now, not all people that say these are gaslighters. We can all say things. We can all say to a small child that's fallen over and hurt themselves, jump up, it'll be okay. You're all right, doesn't hurt. We just gaslighted that child's reality, not intentionally. We've just been taught ourselves how to toughen children up rather than to respond to that child's individual needs. We can all be capable of accusing people of overreacting to situations simply because it's not how we would react. We are all capable of telling people to calm down in a manner to try and help them, not realising that we're actually hindering them. Gaslighting is when it's done to psychologically manipulate, it is done in a pathological manner where they continue to do things to gaslight your reality, not in your best interest in their own best interest. So for example, when something has happened to somebody you love and care about that had nothing to do with you, and they come and tell you, and you tell them to calm down, you're not doing it to gaslight their reality. You're doing it because you're, you care and you want to try and get them to calm down because you're trying to help them and you're trying to get them to see the bigger picture, not realising that potentially you're gaslighting them and offending them. A narcissistic person will do something to hurt you, to punish you, to wind you up, to get you going. And then once they've got you there, they're going to tell you that you need to calm down, not because they care about you, but to wind you up all the more. And when they wind you up all the more, they're going to accuse you of overreacting to the situation because they're trying to blame your reactions to distract you from their actions. When a gaslighter says to you, I'm sorry you feel that way. They've usually done something to you to provoke those feelings within you that they're not going to take responsibility for their behaviour. Instead, they're going to just say, I'm sorry you feel that way. You need to deal with it. It's not my problem. Because when they've hurt you, they want you to feel like you're the one that's the problem. You're the one that's causing the problems. 
Now, when a narcissistic person comes at you trying to guilt trip you because they want to get their own way and you say, I'm sorry you feel that way, to protect your boundary, it's not to distract them from the fact that you've said no to them. They know you've said no. That's why they're trying to guilt trip you and get you to say yes. So saying I'm sorry you feel that way isn't to hurt their feelings. It's the fact that you do feel bad that they feel that way because you want to change your no into a yes so that they don't feel that way. They're manipulating you and exploiting you. So saying to them I'm sorry you feel that way is because you're sorry they'll feel that way. However, if they're unwilling to respect your healthy boundaries, that's on them, not you. I never said that. You're imagining things. That never happened. Again, when they want you to disbelieve your own eyes and your own ears, when they want you to question your perception of events, they want to distract you by getting you to question your perception and not their actions. You're insecure, jealous, have trust issues. When someone is provoking those reactions within you and then accusing you of having trust issues, being insecure, being jealous, they're trying to distract you from what they're doing to you. Someone who genuinely cares would be willing to reassure you, not offend you and accuse you. We can all have trust issues. We can all be insecure. We can all be jealous. Those who care would respond in a healthy manner. Those who don't care, who are causing those issues within you, are looking to shift the blame onto you. Narcissistic people are some of the most envious people you could ever meet and they enjoy provoking jealousy within others so they can feel better about their own envy. Jealousy is a normal emotion, one that a narcissistic person doesn't want to recognise, they just want to shame other people for having it. You're too sensitive, insecure. They want to make out that there is a problem with your emotions, flaws within your emotions. Now, when an insensitive person has offended you and then claims that you're too sensitive, they like the empathy to care about your feelings. As genuine people, when they do something that accidentally hurts another person's feelings. They don't go accusing that person of being too sensitive. They ask what they've done wrong. Then they have a two-way conversation. Then they apologise, recognise and don't do it again because they care about that individual person. Narcissistic people don't care. They don't want to discuss. They don't want to deal. They just want to accuse you of being too sensitive so you feel like there's flaws within you. A bit like when they turn around and say, what have I done to hurt you? They're not actually interested. And genuine people, when someone is being sensitive, can say, what have I done to hurt you? And then they would be willing to listen and explain, find some closure. A narcissistic person, a gaslighter, is going to say, what have I done to hurt you? And as you start to explain, they're going to interrupt you, talk over you, come at you with things like more gaslighting phrases, such as, what about when you? They're going to deflect it straight back onto you. So you find yourself defending yourself to them so they don't have to explain their hurtful behaviour towards you. It's all your fault. They don't take responsibility for their behaviour. To them, it's always someone else's fault. Somebody else made them do it. They feel entitled to do as they please. If they get exposed, they're just going to shift the blame to try and get away with it, to avoid any consequences for their actions, to get you apologising often to them for the things that they have done to you while they fail to ever apologise 
genuinely to you for the things they actually did to you. You made me angry. Again, they're not going to take responsibility for their behaviour. We can all become angry. However, we have to be responsible for our anger. And usually when a narcissist provokes those reactions within you, you're the one that feels bad for being angry. A narcissistic person doesn't feel bad. They just shift the blame. You're awkward, selfish, stubborn. It's quite difficult hearing this when it's coming from some of the most awkward, selfish and stubborn people you could ever meet because you might find yourself firing it straight back at them. With a narcissistic person, with a gaslighter, they feel entitled. They've not got their own way. So they're going to accuse you of being awkward so that you feel bad and give in to them. With a narcissistic person, a gaslighter, they've usually promised you something so they can get what they want from you and then they fail to deliver on that promise. They let you down time and time again and then find a way to blame you. You can't take a joke. Now we can all crack a joke that's not meant to hurt anyone's feelings and it does hurt somebody's feelings and then we can dig ourselves a little deeper as we try to explain what we meant by that joke and we weren't meaning to offend them and we can offend them all the more and recognise that actually we just need to shut our mouths and listen to how they are feeling and apologise, recognise and not do it again. With a narcissistic person, they are going to intentionally, this is why it's pathological, because they're going to intentionally mock, taunt, humiliate, shame, blame, judge, criticise, ignore. They're going to intentionally get you going. And then when you become offended, they're going to turn around and say, it's only a joke. You can't take a joke. Again, to try and make out that your reaction is somehow flawed, your instincts are wrong, rather than their behaviour towards you is wrong. And when they repeat this, it's who they are as a person. They're only nice when they want something from you. You're attacking me. Now this again is a tricky one because when a narcissistic person, a gaslighter, is attacking you, you can turn around and say, hang on a minute, you're attacking me here. And it doesn't get you anywhere with a narcissist because they're not going to take responsibility for their behaviour. When you call them out, so you know you, you've called them out, they're going to accuse you of attacking them. So you feel bad because you know you're calling them out. They want to challenge you. They want to flip the conversation. They want to come at you with the word salad to get you to feel bad for calling them out so they don't have to face the consequences for their actions. A narcissist's accusations are often confessions. When they're unjustly accusing you, it's usually what they are doing to you or what they are thinking of doing to you. There are lots of different gaslighting phrases, gaslighters and narcissistic people will use. Any you heard, please do add those into the comments for those reading through so they can recognise what the gaslighter is doing to them. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Short. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.